border crisis. An estimated 30,000 illegal aliens continue to pour into our nation every single month with no vetting, no plan in place where to put these people except to house them in hotels, schools, and nursing homes and residential areas like in New York City, hundreds, for, actually it's thousands, 4,000 to be exact, clashed with police in Staten Island to protest thousands of illegals from moving in to their neighborhoods in Staten Island. That's actually a borough of New York City. Unfortunately, a judge uh, reversed uh, a temporary restraining order, which originally had blocked the city from using a vacant Catholic school as an illegal alien shelter. This means that illegals will now be able to be housed there, enraging neighbors in this residential area. Like I said, thousands have now taken to the streets to protest, including our next guest, who made headlines across the country. That guest, none other than Guardian Angels founder and former Republican nominee for New York City Mayor Curtis Sliwa, also with us, senior law enforcement analyst, former acting CVP commissioner and Heritage Foundation visiting fellow Mark Morgan. Curtis, thank you for being with us again. Studio, so tomorrow you're protesting outside New York City Mayor's Gracie Mansion. This will be your 80th arrest for civil disobedience. You know, here's the thing. A lot of people, Democrats specifically, they're like, why don't you want the illegals? Open your arms. This is racist. But when I look at the video, most of the people protesting they're immigrants themselves. They're yep. people of color themselves. So this isn't about a racism thing. This is about a right and wrong thing. Well, most of the people at our rallies have been moderate Democrats, mm. especially this last case in Staten Island. They live in this area. It's great wealth, great equity, and they have four Catholic schools, four Catholic schools. Mm. And so one they closed a while back, and they had promised they would open up a public school there for high school students, which they need. And instead, it turned it into a migrant center overnight. After I had warned the community a month before, they're targeting that high school. City Hall went out of its way. My fellow Republicans, they savaged me, as did the Democrats. He's a liar. He's making it up. I say, you know, if you would have moved quickly when I first told you that school is going to be turned into a migrant center, you would have prevented it. So when I showed up for the rally, 4,000 people. It took me a half hour to get to the stage just from all the people apologizing. We should have listened to you. Wow. And, you know, it's interesting that they arrested you and all the other people protesting, but during the summer of love where you got your jaw broken, <laughs> no arrests were no. made for the rioters. No. And, and actually, remember, the city paid them out. Staten Island is where Blue Lives Matter started. They love the police, but they, they had conflict with the police. The police were pushing old ladies back in that. Meantime, the, the illegal aliens are already in the school giving the old ladies... The finger. They're, lo they're lucky the guys didn't go in there with baseball bats and just like break the windows. And the it's cops wonder why these people are angry. Well, guess what? You destroy your neighborhood, all your equity, your family. Women can't go at night. Children can't yeah. go out at night. No That's curfew. worth fighting for. No curfew for these guys. None. We don't know who they are. And the majority of them are actually men of military age. Mark, this is not a, just a New York City problem. It's being highlighted here. Turning to the rest of the country, cities across the country, they're struggling to keep up with the influx of illegals. While Republicans are calling out Biden because it is his border policy, he's left the border wide open, Democrat leaders are simply asking for more money. But in the words of Barack Obama, this is simply not sustainable. It is not. And here's something that's very important, though, Lydia. You mentioned about uh, our compassion. And unfortunately, our human compassion has been hijacked because this, why are we focusing so much on illegal aliens? It's not just the cost of taxpayers once they get here. What happens is every single illegal alien that comes across our border, resources are pulled off the line. What happens then, a cartels expand their operational control of our southwest border. And as we are overwhelmed with processing 7.2 million encounters in the first 30 months of this administration, our borders are left wide open, unpatrolled, unmanned. The cartels are taking control, and that's how they're smuggling across drugs, killing Americans, criminals, including murderers, rapists, pedophiles and national security threats. That's why we say illegal immigration is not the victimless crime. It is synonymous with border security, which is synonymous with our national security. Every single illegal alien that comes across, it erodes our ability to secure our borders and to prevent drugs, criminals, and national security threats from coming across uh, our borders. This country needs to wake up, Lydia. Absolutely. It's a national security crisis. I remember a mass murderer that was, I believe, in, in Brazil, and then they found him in New Hampshire. And God only knows the gotaways. They're saying 30,000.
thousand a month. Right. Those are the people that have encountered Customs and Border Patrol. But who knows how many people are being snuck in, and then we're seeing the drugs on our streets. People are walking around like zombies. What can we do, Mark Morgan? Yeah, Lydia, to your point, in the first 30 months also, 1.6 million known Godaways. Think about that. We've literally added a 51st state of Godaways. And why do we have a Godaway? Why are they avoiding apprehension? Because it's that demographic, that category, where the rapists, murderers, pedophiles, aggravated felons, and gang members live. I ask everybody, how many murderers are you okay with mm. coming across our wide open border before you say enough is enough? The and solutions are there. We did it under the Trump administration. You put a strategy in place that has resources and policies that provides deterrence, consequences, and puts integrity back in the system. Lydia, all we have to do is pull the Trump era playbook off the shelf, dust it off, yeah. reinstate it, and our borders will be secure. That's it. And imagine if they move in ne next door to you. 30 seconds to you, Curtis Lee. What tell us about tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, I'll be celebrating my 80th arrest, best ever in civil disobedience. This mayor, Eric Adams, swagger man with no plan, right? Mayor of the illegal aliens, he calls himself Mayor Gandhi. We're going to show him civil disobedience. Dozens of us are going to get arrested outside of his house. He's got to house the illegal aliens. He wanted them. He called Abbott a racist. He can't yeah. handle it now. So tell your puppet chula Joe Biden to do something about it. <laughs> but he will never name and shame his hero, Joe Biden. No, he never calls him out. Curtis Sliwa, I love your passion, Mark Morgan, yeah. as yours as well. Thank you for joining us.